So now we know how important human rights are. How did they come about? Or have they always been around? A bullseye question. After a horrible galactic war, when whole humans, nations, and even planets were destroyed, a congress of wise, good people gathered. They created a great declaration saying all humans were born free and should live together in the spirit of love and brotherhood. And all humans, regardless of the color of their skin or where they live, have a right to believe in what they want, share their thoughts freely, travel, work, have a family and own property. And no one may take these things away, nor kill people, torture them, or sell them into slavery. All this sounded so great in theory, that all the states agreed to this declaration unanimously. Why didn't it work then? Such great things were created, and everyone seemed to agree. Everyone liked the sound of this, but governments still wanted to rob their neighbors, start wars, own slaves, etc. The saddest thing was no agreement about the most important thing. Who monitors the implementation of this declaration? It all came back. Wars, dictators, concentration camps. Despite all planets declare that they observe human rights, a new congress of civilized world's representatives gathered. And this time, they adopted a concrete document. A pact on how civilized worlds shall live together in the union of civilized worlds. As well as general rules, they accepted an All World Convention for the Defense of Human Rights and agreed that all civilized worlds should treat humans the same way, regardless of whether they are citizens of a given planet, tourists, or migrants. The planet's governments made this commitment, so humans got rights. So a declaration is when we write something wonderful. For example, to live life well is wonderful while well, a convention already includes clearly defined obligations. For example, an agreement, which provides concrete enforcement mechanisms. Is that it? Exactly. An excellent formulation. And that Stabilina promised a right to a happy childhood? What does this mean? It means nothing. Just empty words. Indeed, in the convention, abstract things are not written. Only concrete obligations. So why would dictators observe any convention at all? Firstly, you can't enter the Union of Civilized Worlds if you don't make the convention a part of your own law system. Secondly, the All World Tribunal monitors whether all the governments observe human rights equally. And if they don't comply, then inspections, verification, sanctions, etc. will follow, no. up to expulsion from the Union, to ensure the planet takes it seriously. So that means states monitor each other. What's good in it for them? In fact, this is perfectly clear. Dictators can attack their neighbors. They need to be watched closely. Unfortunately, other planets can't see all that's going on, and the whole world tribunal can't always handle it. Distances in a universe are huge. This is where the participation of human rights defenders is needed. But let's talk about it another time.